Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Beating a dead horse a little bit because I'm talking about dead space again. But I made a really bold claim that there's an exceptionally good performance on SteamOS. And somebody just asked me if I can make a video. So let's see if I made a fool of myself. Well, I'm kind of fool, but let's see if I'm wrong or not. Because I was showing this, this uh, screenshot. And as you can see, it's 384 FPS uh, on SteamOS in game mode and pretty flat line. But of course, I'm not moving. This is just a screenshot. And this game is very well known for big stutters, like stutters that you cannot get rid of. So let's see if there's any difference between Windows and SteamOS, exactly about SteamOS. So it would be a quick one. I'm not going to make a big run, but let's... Let me explain the problem with this game. Uh, let me reset, reset the MSI after Barner. So this is 1440p, high settings. I set the limit to 120 FPS. And let me show you. Like, you know, you play the game. It's not the most difficult game to run. And if you like, fa see the big stutter there? That's the traversal stutter. That, that's the problem. Let me reset that again. And you can feel it. They are kind of brutal if you're sensitive to stutters. If you're not sensitive to stutters, you, you're not going to feel anything. Because when you fight enemies, it's perfectly flat line. There's just slight, yeah, slight movement on the graph. But in general, it's pretty good. But the traversal stutters in this game, like, you know, you fight enemies, it's not a problem. But corridors and doors, that's the, the big enemy. That's the performance killer so you know somebody challenged me if steam os ran it any better because i can see this is brutal you can feel it i mean not everybody can feel it and if you can't then i'm a little bit jealous especially on mouse and keyboard on a controller is much much easier to accept starters you don't feel them as bad but on a mouse and keyboard and especially when you like turning the camera and I will show you the spot exact. Oh, this is brutal, guys. This spot here was brutal. But look, you see that small lift? It's a broken lift in front of me, you know, with a broken light, a yeah, blinking light. Look, look, I'm just crossing the line. See? And you cannot get rid of them. I don't need to go far. Every single time. See? every single time so that that's the problem with the game you cannot get rid of traverse stutter this is just part of the game part of the engine so let's see if steam os can make it any better maybe not fix it but let's see if it makes any better and if there is any difference between game mode and desktop mode so let's uh, see you on the other side on the on steam os Hey guys, so welcome back. So this is official SteamOS, SteamOS 3.9. This is my spec, um, Ryzen 7800X 3D and Radeon 7900XTX. So for Linux, this is better than NVIDIA generally. Okay, and let's see how it performs, if it's any better on Linux. Okay guys, so I'm in the game. Let me reset Mango Hut and 1% lows and everything. Um, like that. Okay, so let's start from killing this enemy as before. And let's see if it's any different. If the game behaves differently. Okay. Okay, so similar movement. Now, opening this door very often causes big stutter, and this one here, like this corridor, or this corridor, normally this is a big, big, big stutter here. There you go, not so bad. Couldn't feel anything. This door as well, when I open this door, okay, nothing. Okay, now this corridor was really bad on Windows. Let's see how it behaves here. 
and I'm intentionally using mouse and keyboard. Normally, I play on a controller because controller can hide stutters way, way better and low FPS. But mouse exposes them. Okay, now the benchmark lift, guys. Let's see. Let's see how bad it's gonna be. Okay, let's run. Okay, there was something. It's not nothing. But there's no way I could I could feel it, especially on a straight line. A little bit. Once again. And for some reason, it's becoming smaller. Guys, can somebody explain me how it works, how it's even possible? Does Linux or SteamOS does something? Like, how it's possible that on Windows, because this is traversal status, you cannot, like, pre-compile them, can you? So, does Linux cache some data? And then, when you do it again, the da data is there? See, I, I cannot cause it. Look. Once again, I cannot make it. And on Windows, I was constantly uh, having status there. Okay, let's do this corridor again. Because this corridor is brutal in terms of starters. Okay. Okay, let, let's run. Let's run. Don't walk. Okay, see, there was a little bit. But guys, this, like, nothing. Okay? And once again, this big door. This big door are brutal as well. This part here. Oh, here you go. Not even close, guys. And I highly recommend for everybody to test yourself. Okay, see, that was the biggest one so far, this big door here. Uh, when crossing this door and this door, I occasionally have big, big starters here, even on on Linux, but no, nowhere close to what I'm getting on Windows. But yeah, guys, what I wanted to say, uh, I highly recommend for everybody to test yourself if performance is any better. Unfortunately, it's usually worse on NVIDIA. AMD owners are more lucky because they, they usually gain performance on Linux. Um, but yet, so this is desktop, but let's see if game mode is any better. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna click here. However, I cannot easily record over there. There is a recording option, but I have a feeling that it's a little bit heavy, that it affects performance. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna record with my phone, and actually I will show you how the game mode uh, looks like, and how transitioning into game mode looks like. And yeah, that will be a little bit bad quality, but we just want to check if the performance is any good and if there is any stutters, and if Linux or SteamOS specifically can fix some of those stutters. So guys, see you in a second. <laughs> Okay, guys, so we go into game mode from desktop mode. We click here. Yeah. And just wait a second. Black screen. All right. Yeah, let's see the. Huh. Nothing. Just, just a blip. Okay, once again. Okay, guys, um, I switched to my microphone because the recording was so bad and so annoying. <laughs> I just had to record it once again and after the video. So as you see, I'm testing this lift and there is a small spike, but nowhere close what I was getting on Windows. And this graph, they, they look different as well. You know, like on Windows, the spike may be higher or smaller, they not necessarily represent exactly the same values. Um, for me, it felt pretty much exactly the same like on desktop, on Linux, and way, way smoother than on Windows, not even close. But I highly recommend, guys, to not trust me. I'm just a guy talking on internet. Maybe I'm talking rubbish. Definitely not trust me, you know. <laughs> just maybe yet another fool trying to fool you. Um, test yourself, guys. Test yourself. See how it works for you. Um, from what I see, it works better on AMD. If you're AMD, it's very likely you're gonna have better experience on Linux rather than on Windows. Numbers are not everything. It's also the feeling, how the game feels. For some people, maybe it's better on Windows. 
for me it's like way smoother on linux not even close the graphs don't say the full story um but yes definitely don't trust me guys um try yourself everything try yourself um, you can use this video as a reference to see what i see the graphs doesn't spike i don't know guys how it even works if somebody can explain me how traversal status can reduce over time on linux but they don't reduce on windows does linux cache the dat data somewhere keep it for later how it's even possible or there's a different like cpu scheduler to you know to do the data okay now let's do this corridor this corridor is very hard to run i normally play on a controller but specifically for this video i was playing on a mouse and i was really impressed how smooth the mouse is because normally the mouse movement on linux is like more choppy compared to controller that's why people on a controller say that they can accept lower frame rate because controller camera movement is a bit smoother but on linux for me like with the mouse as well feels a bit smoother um so yeah guys thank you for watching and see you in the next one